Welcome to One Bag Travels. Today I'll be comparing two popular travel backpacks, the Osprey Farpoint 40 versus the eBags Motherload Weekender Junior. Coming up. These two bags are about the same size. They have similar hardware and fabric, and depending on the sale, a similar price. I love the packing style on the Weekender Junior, but the backpack straps on the Farpoint are much more comfortable to wear. I'll walk you through a side-by-side -side comparison of these two bags to help you decide which one is better for you. Then I'll stuff them full of clothes to see which bag holds more. The materials and hardware used in these two bags is really similar. They both use a high denier polyester as the main fabric, while the Osprey has some ripstop nylon accents along the sides. They both use large YKK zippers and high quality hardware. The zipper on the main compartment of the Osprey is slightly larger number 10, while the Weekender uses mostly number eights and some eBags brand zippers on the exterior pockets. Also worth mentioning is that neither of these bags are waterproof. The fabric isn't treated or coated with any waterproofing material. As you can see, both these bags have a very different look. Osprey specializes in outdoor gear, so the Farpoint looks a lot like a small hiking backpack, while the Weekender looks much more like a piece of luggage with a ton of exterior pockets and zippers. Considering the size and dimensions, I'm comparing the Osprey Farpoint 40 with the Weekender Junior. That's partly because these are the bags I own, but also because these are both 40 liter backpacks with dimensions that are designed to fit as carry-on for most airlines. Each of these bags, however, is also available in several different size versions. The Farpoint comes in a 55, 70, and 80 liter bag, as well as a smaller women's version called the Fairview. The eBags Weekender is also available in a slightly larger 45 liter version. It's pretty clear looking at the outside of these packs that the Weekender has a lot more going on as far as external zippers, pockets, and straps. This means there's more places to put your smaller items, but it makes the pack look much busier. And while the Osprey doesn't have a lot of visible pockets, the exterior of the bag has a nice clean look. The Weekender has this large top access pocket with a lockable zipper, and this huge front main compartment, which looks small from the outside, but is actually big enough to store a ton of stuff in addition to having several small zipper pockets for organizing smaller items. The Farpoint, on the other hand, doesn't do as good of a job with external organization. It only has one small top zipper pocket and one large top access front pocket, which houses the laptop sleeve, but isn't very large and doesn't have a lot more internal organization. The Weekender Junior does a much better job with the compression. It has four solid side compression straps with big buckles, and while they do block the main zipper, they do a great job compressing the bag. In addition, one of my favorite features on this bag is the expandable zipper. You can use it to add an extra six liters of capacity to the bag, or you can pack the bag first and use it in reverse to add more compression. The Osprey straps, on the other hand, don't do quite as good of a job with the compression. They attach across the front of the bag with a flap that covers the zippers, but you can only use them to cinch the bag down from the sides. Both of these backpacks fail with a water bottle pocket. The Farpoint has two mesh pockets on the outside of the bag, but they're way too small. Your water bottle is at risk of falling out if it's not clipped to the bag. The mother load uses a cinch strap bag that's hidden in a small front pocket. Unlike the Farpoint, it will actually hold your water bottle, but because of the way it's attached, it tends to flop around on the pack when you walk. Now let's look at the carry options between these two bags. They both have hideaway backpack straps, a shoulder strap option, as well as top and side carry handles. The backpack straps on both of these bags are pretty similar. They're both about the same width with the same amount of padding, but the Osprey bag is much more comfortable to wear as a backpack. The shoulder straps are more adjustable using the top load adjusters 
and the sternum straps work much better than the Weekender. The back padding is also much better. It has a soft, meshy, breathable back, while the Weekender has a flat back with minimal padding and air ventilation. The hip belts are also much more comfortable on the far point. They are well padded and adjustable, while the Weekender just uses a thin nylon strap. Now let's compare the interior organization and packing style between the Farpoint and the Weekender Junior. I love the packing style on the Weekender. It's a square bag and packs more like a suitcase with a ton of huge front pockets, while the Farpoint is rounded more like a jelly bean, making it more difficult to pack. Looking at these two bags side by side, you can see the Farpoint top flap only opens most of the length of the backpack, while the Weekender opens completely flat from the side. This makes it really easy to pack the Weekender. You can see all of your clothes and it's easy to access everything, especially if you're using packing cubes. But because the flap on the far point doesn't open the entire length, you have this small area on the bottom of the bag that you can't access as easily. You can still use packing cubes with this setup but you have to stuff one of them down to get it to fit. The laptop compartment on the Osprey is a major source of frustration for many Farpoint owners. While the compartment is well padded, it's located away from your back inside the front compartment. And because the bag is rounded like a jelly bean, the corners of a square laptop tend to stick out, which puts pressure on the laptop and subjects the corners to damage. The location of the laptop compartment on the Weekender Junior makes much more sense. It's located in a padded compartment behind your back. There's a weird little sling thing that works to hold your laptop in place that actually works pretty well to keep it off the bottom of the bag. This is the part of the video where I compare the capacities between these two bags. I'll take this giant pile of clothes and stuff it in the Farpoint 40 and then I'll transfer it over to the Weekender Junior, which is a 40 liter bag, so they should both hold about the same amount of stuff. I stuffed this bag full with as many clothes as I could fit in here without using the compression straps. I wanted to see how many loose clothes I could fit while still getting the zipper to shut. So now I'll just take everything out of the Osprey and transfer it over to the Weekender Junior. The Weekender Junior is about 40 liters without using the expansion zipper, so I'm going to keep it shut so I can compare the capacities equally. But I was able to get everything that I packed in the Farpoint into the Weekender without really a problem. They're both packed about the same amount of fullness, so the capacity on these bags is basically identical at 40 liters. The one advantage of the Weekender is after you get the bag full, it does have this expandable zipper that adds an extra about six liters of capacity onto the bag. Or if you want to overpack the bag, you can use this in reverse to add a little bit of compression. In summary, both of these travel backpacks have some pros and cons. I love the packing style on the Weekender. The main compartment and large front pockets are easy to access and it holds a lot more than you think. However, the backpack straps don't have as much padding or air ventilation and it's not as comfortable to wear as the Farpoint. The Osprey Farpoint is a great looking well-made bag. It has good carry options and is really comfortable to wear. And because it comes in a ton of different sizes, it's a great option for a lot of people. However, the laptop compartment isn't in a good location and the bag doesn't open all the way, making it slightly awkward to pack. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you have any more questions about the Osprey Farpoint 40 or the eBags Motherload Weekender Junior, then please let me know in the comments below. And if you like comparison videos like this, then please consider subscribing to our channel, and thanks for watching.